Hi Green Revolutionaries, boxing is a very popular game, but is brutal too, in its current form it represents the extension of the prehistoric and medieval duels or gladiator type sports. Boxing has caused lives and lifelong injuries to many good performing young men and women. We request all the boxing fans and officials to push for including more safety features in the game rules or form new rules for the game to save future of many young athletes. Here are the two tragic stories. The 30-year-old former professional boxer Pritchard Colin is one of the saddest stories in the world of boxing. In his October 2015 bout against Terrell Williams, Pritchard Colin suffered a DQ loss. During the fight, he suffered multiple blows to the back of his head which went unnoticed by the referee. The same caused bleeding in his brain and Colin collapsed in the dressing room. Colin later fell into a coma that lasted 221 days. During the boxing match, Terrell Williams repeatedly punched Pritchard Colin in the back of his head, which is an illegal move. Pritchard told the referee about it, and the referee carelessly replied, you take care of it. After being hit illegally multiple times, Pritchard went down for the first time in his professional career, to the astonishment of the crowd and fans watching at home. Colin expressed his worries to the ringside doctor, stating that he felt dizzy but could still go on. The match was allowed to continue, however, he was disqualified after the ninth round after his corner mistakenly removed his gloves, thinking the game was over. After the fight ended, Pritchard started vomiting and was rushed to the hospital, where he was diagnosed with brain bleeding. He then went into a coma. Pritchard Colin was in a coma for 221 days. His mother is now his full-time caregiver. As of 2024, Pritchard has not regained his abilities, but have straighted little pH sickle activity with supports. His mother shares videos documenting his journey. On June 14, 2013, Frida Wahlberg faced Diana Prazek of Australia. Frida was ahead on the scorecards after five rounds and boxing well. However, in the seventh round, a hard right staggered her. Despite fighting back bravely and returning to her corner when the bell rang, the eighth round brought a decisive moment. Diana dropped Frida with a left cross. Frida beat the count and got up. But moments later, a short right hook felt her again. Referee Bella Florian waved off the bout and Frida walked unsteadily to her corner. However, there was no stool for her to sit on as Dr. Robert Ludwig examined her. She slumped, her body went limp, and Diana's trainer, former boxing champion Lucia Raker, realized something was desperately wrong. Lucia immediately called back the doctor. Frida was placed on a stretcher, oxygen was administered, and she was rushed to the hospital. She had suffered a subdural hematoma, a bleed between the skull and the brain. Surgeons operated to drain it, and Frida was placed in an induced coma. The surgeon saved her life, but with an injury of this nature, her boxing career was over, and her life irrevocably changed. She underwent a long spell of rehabilitation. As of today, Frida lives quietly with her three children. She tries to keep fit but continues to suffer the lingering effects of the injury. Let us move towards a more peaceful world for our coming generations. With healthy and constructive sports, say no to wars, destruction and exploitation around the world, and call stand for social justice, freedom and humanity. What are your thoughts in improving boxing safety rules or forming new rules? Please let us know in your comments.